Um, we also support your health and wellbeing, and that's very much um, my <coughs> area. So it's quite exciting um, that we get to do that. We have a whole range of activities. We have weekly yoga and meditation, and we ramp that up around exam mm. time, as well as um, having a coffee cart. So it probably counteracts what <laughs> the meditation side of things. Uh, we do talk about mental health a lot. We try to bring in speakers. We try mm. to do workshops. Um, we talk about things like um, appropriate behaviours and, and consent and, you know, some of those conversations can be confronting but I think they're really important mm -hmm. um, and engaging. Uh, we also have some pet visits mm. during swap back. <laughs> so we've just established a wellbeing committee and we do get feedback from all our stakeholders, including students, about what they might want. And it seems um, bring a dog in yeah. for a pet seemed very popular yes. this year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were involved in the kitchen garden. Yeah, apple. yeah, I did a bit of work on in um, with the environment committee working on the garden and. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I, I know from last year, um, Tilly, who was in charge of that, they had amazing produce come in mm. that got used in the kitchen yeah. for our meals. And, yeah, no, it was it's pretty amazing yeah. the kind of stuff that's grown out the back there. Yeah, yeah. it's really cool. We've got a garden and we've got our own um, kitchen garden that was mm. inspired by Stephanie Alexander. Um, we get, you know, the committee, the Sustainability Environment Committee out doing their harvesting and the planting. Mm -hmm. uh, and apart from giving us fantastic stuff to use in the kitchen and that sort of sense of satisfaction, also yep. it, it adds to the well-being mm. of our students. Um, we also have a 24-7 a network of support, and this is probably more important for mm. any parents that are listening, but we do uh, have a structure in place in case anything is wrong or in case we feel somebody needs some additional support. So that includes um, me as the Dean of Students. I've got a wellbeing team, student services team. We work with the resident tutors who I said earlier uh, are mentors as well. And, and part of that mentoring is academic, but also at the same time, and it's hard mm. to kind of um, pull them apart, is also they have a sense of how people are coping yeah. in general and in the community. And we've just recently established a peer support program. So that's sort of students looking after other students, creating some corridor culture, making sure there's events and activities that, are, that appeal to everybody, not mm. just those major college events. It can be intimidating for some people that might be potentially a bit more introverted mm. or have some different interests. 